Hello there, this is Dave Allen for No Stylus, and today what we're going to do is we're going to look at how to save web pages as PDF files on your iPad and your iPhone. And here's how to do it. So the first thing that you need to do is to go and get this text, it's going to be in the notes down below, and put it onto your iPad and put it in the clipboard. So I'm sure you know how to do that. So then what you need to do is you need to go into your Safari application and we'll start working on this little project. Now what you need to do first of all is to go to your share icon and click on that and then click on the bookmark button. And what we're going to need to do is to give this bookmark a name so it means something. So get rid of what's there first of all and the URL that's in there for the moment. We're just going to ignore that. Okay, so let's go to the bookmarks tab. Okay, so I've clicked on the edit button first of all. Now what I want to do is go to this here and we've got to delete the existing URL. So what I did was to delete the URL that was in there and paste in the JavaScript text as we copied over. So there we have it. We've got the job done. We've created a bookmark that's going to turn this web page into a PDF. Now if you could do me a favour, I really would appreciate it. Click on the share button and share this video out to your friends. There are other places that you can send it out to as well, including Pinterest. And don't forget to click on the like button. Thanks a lot. So let's just try it out and see how it works. Tap on the bookmarks. Do save to PDF. OK, so let's just tap on that there. Click on open in iBooks. And there you go. It's opened up and it's in there as a PDF. How about that? Not bad at all. What else have I got for uh, looking at PDFs on here? Open in and open in Goodreader. Goodreader is a very good application to use for looking at PDFs. I like it. So there you go, we've got it open now. And the good thing about opening it up in this application is that we can do things with it, like we can put uh, arrows in there. Create an annotated copy. Okay, so there you go, I can put arrows in this now, because it's a PDF. So it is quite good and useful to have an application that you can use to get your web pages and turn them into PDFs. Thanks for watching the video, and why don't you check out the other videos. Here's two of them. There's one video there and one video there that you can click on and go and have a look at now. And don't forget that you can also subscribe. Talk to you again soon. Bye-bye now.